Eco Training presents Birds of the Bush for twitchers and amateur birders. Hi, my name is Andre Hubert and I will be presenting a few facts about vultures. Here in the Low Felt, we're fortunate enough to see species of vultures like the whiteback vulture, the cape vulture occasionally, the hooded vulture and the leopard-faced vulture. Up in Lesotho, we find the bearded vulture and in the tropical forests of KZN, you're likely to see the palmnut vulture as well. Vultures are cleaning machines. They're immune to many microbes and bacteria. And without them, these bacteria might spread to many other animals and even humans. Vultures are some of the highest flying, most impressive of the raptors that we have in Southern Africa. One story reflects that a very rare migrant, the ripples vulture, has been recorded flying at 11,400 meters. and so high that he got sucked into a jet airliner. However, our local Cape Vulture has been recorded at flying at 8 kilometers above sea level. Vultures see 8 times better than humans can, which is the equivalent of constantly looking through binoculars. Despite the vulture's reputation for being an unclean bird, they are actually one of the cleanest birds we find locally, as they bathe extremely regularly. Recently, we were lucky enough to come across a fresh giraffe kill, which obviously attracted many vulture species local to us. The vulture species predominantly being the whiteback vulture, a special cape vulture and hooded vultures. It was amazing seeing the vultures ripping and tearing into this freshly killed giraffe. Um, it's quite morbid, but it's amazing to see these animals fulfilling their duty in nature. At the carcass, we also saw the hooded vulture, and I've got a few cool facts about the hooded vulture for you. The Latin name for the hooded vulture is Necrocitres monarchus. Necrocitres meaning corpse puller. Very morbid, but it explains exactly what it does. Hooded vultures have the amazing ability to display their moods by the color of their facial skin, much like the African harrier hawk. When they're stressed, as you'll see in the video, the facial skin turns blush pink. Otherwise, when they're not stressed, it turns back to a normal white. At the carcass, we were lucky enough to see the special cape vulture, which are most likely nesting on the surrounding Drakensberg, close to where we are at Pridelands. As I've mentioned, vultures are a critical part of a healthy ecosystem. They're also critically endangered, which is why we should do everything in our power to reverse the damage already done to the vulture populations around us. If you like this video, please subscribe and check out the rest of Eco Training's videos.